Hey, honey buns, it is Jen, and I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick. Okay, you cannot minimize while you're doing this. Okay, so I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick. I wanted to come and share my screen with you, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about some business ideas that you can do without showing your face. Yes, um, somebody wrote a nice, somebody wrote a nice um, uh, comment, pretty much, and I don't even understand I know, I know why, but um, it was under my Craigslist video. Somebody wrote the comment that um, some people just don't want to put themselves out there, right? And I totally, totally get it. So let's go ahead and get into this. Business ideas without showing your face, okay? So first things first, make sure you're checking in in the, the comments below, hashtag pretty gang. Make sure you like and share this video and also make sure that you go ahead and join our Facebook group. Pretty Money Gang, you can go ahead and go to prettymoneygang.com and you should be able to go ahead and join us on Facebook. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? So first things first is why? Why, why don't you want to show your, your face? Or why do you want to start a business without showing your face? Some of us are not comfortable on camera, right? So we do not want to show our face. The second thing is some people just do not want people to know it's us. Some of us want to stay incognito. Some of us don't. Some of us want to respect our privacy, right? And then number three is some people feel like they don't have the look, right? Like right now, look at me. I'm just a t-shirt, no, no makeup, no nothing. I'm just here giving you guys information. But for some people, they don't like their look. And um, I definitely can understand that. So that's some of the reasons why, okay? So we're going to also get into some true things about not showing your face on camera or not, um, yeah, not showing your face on camera is that you're going to have to be personable through your voice, okay? And personable in whatever it is you plan to do. The second thing is if you're going to be using the internet for your business, you're definitely going to have to learn SEO, okay? So that's search um, engine optimization because that's the best way people are going to be able to find you um, with your business that you're going to start with not showing your face. The third thing you're going to have to get down pat is your branding, okay? A lot of branding can be colors, it can be logo, it can be name, it can be just your intro, okay? And then you're definitely going to have to be creative about not showing your face because most people are very good at, at seeing someone's face or face-to-face -face interaction or face-to-face -face recognition. So if you're not going to be on camera, you're going to have to be very creative and very animated with your voice, okay? So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First thing that you can do, a business that you can start, um, is you could start a podcast. And you're like, okay, what do I need for a podcast? First, you need to pick the platform. Of course, some of the biggest platforms are iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and Stitcher, okay? You can hop on there, create a podcast, and you can make podcasts, um, you can make money through podcasting through um, other people marketing on your platform as long as you can build your platform, affiliate marketing, um, you're definitely going to want to build your platform up, create your podcast, and then you can start selling stuff like digital downloads. You can start um, affiliate marketing products that you're using, things like that. So to start a podcast, you need a mic, a pop filter, and a lapel mic. You can pick one or the other. You do not need both. Like for me, I'm going to recommend you guys in the description to grab a, um, a blue ice mic. Okay. That's what I use. And you definitely want to get you a pop filter and, um, Definitely get that. So that's one of the businesses that you can start in order to do that. This, the other business that you can start with that, okay, I thought I saw it go down. The other business that you can uh, start is you can start a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel can make you money. You can have your Cash App link in your bio. You can have your PayPal link in your bio. You can affiliate market and you can sell digital products, okay, using YouTube. So YouTube, you can do things like tutorials, right? You can do a screen record. I'll leave a link in the description to the screen recorder that I use. You can use a free version or the paid version. The free version pretty much gives you five minutes of record time. It cuts off after five minutes. If you want to just do a part two to it, you would go ahead and do another recording. Take those two five minutes, combine, combine them to 10 minutes on your editing software. I'm also going to leave a link to the editing software that I use. It's not affiliate. I don't have an affiliate link for that. Um, so you can do tutorials, DIYs, unboxings, and you can do voiceovers, okay? So you're gonna need a screen recording and editing software. I'll leave it in the description below. You're gonna need a mic, a pop filter, and lighting. The reason why you're gonna need lighting is because if you are gonna be doing reviews where you're gonna be using your hands to show things, but you're not going to show your face, people are need to, gonna need to be focused on the item. So you're gonna need um, something like a light box, or you're gonna need something like a um, ring light. I left those in the description below, okay? The next business that you can start is you can, be, you can write books. 
writing books, being an author. You do not have to use your real name. There are a lot of authors that are out here that are under pen names, okay? You, uh, the, the top three books, are they, they've been the top three genres of books for a very long time is you can write erotica, you can write self-help, or you can write sci-fi, okay? I would kind of stay away from sci-fi only because a lot of sci-fis usually have a whole bunch of series, which would be good because if you want to be able to have something else to create, you can definitely create a sci-fi series, but most sci-fi series are more, more brand names, but erotica and self-help, anybody, majority can just jump into self-help, jump into erotica and make a series out of those books. So you can do things like eBooks, you can do things like regular hardcover books, or you can do things like audio books. You do not have to show your face. Okay, and then the next business idea that you can have where you don't have to show your face is you can do a boutique or an online store. You can go pick a platform, Shopify, Etsy, Amazon. Um, what are some other ones? Um, you can be on um, eBay, you can Poshmark. There are so many platforms to do online stores. You can build your own Shopify store. You never have to show your face. You just have to have the product. So great pictures of the product. Make sure that if you are going to um, do a boutique, you're gonna, you need to get your shipping down pack because that's what a lot of people are looking for, for you to ship fast and for your shipping to be either zero or low cost. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to start a boutique. You can literally go on Poshmark right now, create a logo without your face, um, put up, you know, 10, 15 pictures of things that you have to sell. And voila, you have a boutique, you have an online store um, where you don't do not have to show your face. I do have four more other, um, I do have four more other ideas, but you have to join the Pretty Money Gang Facebook group. I said Facebook group. You have to join the Pretty Money Gang Facebook group to find out the rest. So you guys, I hope this was helpful and I'll be talking to you guys Soon, soon, soon. Make sure again that you are joining the Facebook group, okay, prettymoneygang.com. And make sure that you guys are going in the description below and grabbing my 50 point business checklist, okay? If you are a brand new business owner and you want to start your business and you do not know where to start, boom, I have 50 things, actually 60 things, but 50 plus things that you need to do or need to learn in order to start your business off right. Have your business checklist. So, you guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.